Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. I just wanted to ask, how did playing the role of Linda McRae test you as an actress? Well, the biggest test is when you have to play a real person, right? Because you definitely will get people, and they mean well, but you know, you'll get people who come up to you afterwards and they're like, she ain't really sound like that. <laughs> or they'll say, um, I never, I never heard her, she, her laugh isn't, doesn't sound, you know, they'll just nitpick everything. And you want to explain to them, like, I am representing her, but I'm not actually her. And I'm not trying to, I'm not a mimic. So I'm representing the essence of this person. So I, when I spoke to Miss Lynn, I only got to speak to her on the phone um, before she passed away. She passed away right before we, um, right before When They See Us came out. So we shot in 2018. It was released in 2019 in April or May, and she passed away in March. <clears throat> so I never got to actually meet her in person, but I spoke to her on the phone. A long conversation with Michael and Ava. We wanted to talk about the marriage, the family, you know, and then I got to ask her questions about her journey as a mom during this whole time. It was like a crazy two hour emotional. She started out saying, you know, I, I don't like to talk about this. And we were, we understood. We were like, listen, you say as much or as little as you want. Um, I'll read all the transcripts. At that, t at that point, I'd read all the transcripts from the court cases. I'd read everything I could on her, but she was intensely private. So the McCrays were the family, everyone else, <clears throat> sort of had a little bit of a public life. Antron, he wasn't even in the documentary. Like they didn't want to be on screen. They didn't want to be involved in anything. And I think the only reason they were involved in When They See Us is because it was Ava and Oprah. And you don't say no to Ava and Oprah. And because they knew their story would be taken care of. But like, they are not people who want to talk to any reporters. She said, um, after the thing happened with her, her son, there were a lot of people where she would shout at her and like just come up and flash photography, just take pictures in her face. So she wasn't a photo taker. I could not find any photos of this woman. Like she just, just she did not engage. So just getting her on the phone was a task and Ava had warned us. Um, and you know, I said, listen, as much or as little as you want to say, what's great about her is once she started talking, she didn't stop. Um, it was an emotional thing, but I think it was like a therapy session for her. She told me she had never gone to therapy, which I wish she had, you know, I feel like, and I wish she had seen When They See Us because like, I, I really do feel like what what's happened for the guys is they were getting all this love where all the attention was so negative before that now it became like all this love from all of the place. And it, it just definitely doesn't make up for ruining their childhood, but it it's helpful. And I think it would have been helpful for her too.